hello, it's Afro Neek, and I just wanted to share with you some tips on how to store strawberries. So fortunately, it is already strawberry season here in Southern California. So me and my daughter have been partaking of the season. So what I do is um, we go through about two flats of strawberries every week. So I pick those up at the farmer's market. And what I do is I take one flat and I store them in the refrigerator and the other flat I store in the freezer for smoothies. So for the ones that I'm just gonna put in the refrigerator, what I do is um, they come in the boxes in these little baskets. And what I could do is I could leave them in these baskets because it will get lots of air in them. But since um, my husband isn't vegan, so I have not vegan items in my refrigerator, I just, um, I have some of these containers that I saved from back when I would get the packs from the grocery store. And so all I do is I put them in here and I don't rinse them or anything like that. They have a little bit of the holes in them so they can get a little bit of the air. We don't want to rinse them until you are ready to eat them because then they'll just sit there in that water and kind of absorb that moisture even if you do, you know, kind of dry them off afterwards. So then I just put these in my fridge like this and then me and my daughter will eat them. We'll do like salads. I can puree them to make a salad dressing or any other kind of um, like a for like desserts and stuff like that, I can also puree it with um, dates and stuff like that. So there's lots of different things that we do with them and we actually just kind of eat them too. We do a lot that a lot too. So I just put them on my fridge and I take up like the whole second row of my refrigerator. And then for the ones that I'm going to do for the smoothies, what I do is I do go ahead and rinse those first. And so I just have a bowl of filtered water. I try to be mindful not to use the tap water to rinse off my fruit because these are produced organically. They're not certified organic and that is something that I've learned at the farmer's market um, that some farmers won't certify it because it costs them money to do so. So I feel safe, you know, trusting that they're worth, they do grow them organically. And strawberries is one of those things that you do want to get organic or at least produce organic uh, because they do spray them a lot. So what I do is, is I just take them and I just kind of rinse them in the bowl and I leave the leaves on because I do throw them in with the leaves on in my smoothies. And then um, I just put them on like this terry cloth tile just because I'm going to then kind of lightly dry them to try to remove um, some of the moisture, but I also don't want to smash them either and bruise them or anything. And then also what I do when I get home from the market is I want to also make sure, um, I'm going to put them in the plastic bag for storage, um, is that um, they you go through them, and so I do that with anything I buy in bulk, and to make sure that there's no bad ones in there because you want to get those out so that they don't ruin the rest of the batch. Um, the, the farmer that I get from um, the strawberries from, they've been like really good. I go through the batches and I usually never really find any strawberries that have any um, kind of mold or anything on them. But with any of my fruits, I try to do that so you can get those out the way and then there's some I'll go ahead and maybe I need to go ahead and eat them right away depending on you know, what the fruit is. And so I always try to do that because you don't want to ruin you know, your big bulk that you bought. So then once I've got them all um, in the plastic bag, then I'll just seal them up and I'll pop them in the freezer. And then I'll just grab through these throughout the week. And that's how I store my strawberries. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment below. All right, thanks for watching.